Greetings and welcome once again to all the people taking the time to watch this video and follow this channel. It's me, the eight ball champ, the adult fan of Lego champion with set 10692. It's the Lego Creative Bricks. Uh, it's a classic set. It comes in this package here to review. Um, and I'm not real thrilled with this set, even for a classic set. Now, again, if you're buying classic sets in an, as an adult, you're going to have or you should have lowered expectations but this didn't even hit those lowered expectations uh first of all it's uh 221 pieces i'm sure there's some extras in there so it's probably actually closer to 230 but the price to part ratio really isn't great compared to some of the other classic sets i mean there's some other ones you know they're like 1500 pieces and you can get them for like 30 bucks at walmart and uh that's not the case with this 230 pieces for, I want to say like, I'm pretty sure I got mine like for $11, maybe 12. It was pretty cheap. Um, there's also not a super huge variety of, of, maybe I shouldn't say variety. Normally these classic sets have some kind of hard to find or rare parts like slopes and colors that you wouldn't come, or just general colors that you wouldn't come across. Uh, when I look through this, there really isn't any super rare parts. This is, no, nope, not that one. This is the most rare part. It's in six sets. And uh, so there, there's nothing like super, super exclusive to this set. I didn't, that might just be a, a product of this being one of the more like older classic sets that's still on the, on the shelves. That's also not necessarily a bad thing. Like I, you know, I'd like to just keep getting regular bricks and plates that are useful. You know, like I can use lots of just green plates to build stuff on. Or um, actually, this was kind of an interesting kind of combination of both. You have the plant parts, but these are the kind of the older plant plant pieces or plant elements. So I thought that was interesting to get. Uh, it also had, you know, more window and door elements than I anticipated having. Uh, probably the biggest, I don't wanna say the biggest thing, the biggest surprise to me though, is when I picked up this box, I saw this plastic lid, and I thought I was gonna get a nice container with it. Nope, that is just a cardboard box. So that was a big disappointment. Uh, when you look at the builds, the builds are kind of, you know, they're on par with any other classic set. It does annoy me that they have been uh, including things like this, they're not even including the directions. They're saying you have to look them up online. Like just put an extra six pages in this in this uh, pretty wimpy little wimpy little uh, instruction manual. That shouldn't be that overly difficult. Uh, but in the end, after taking all this into consideration, you know I do have more negatives than positives. The positives aren't particularly great. Uh, so I'm gonna, as a whole, even taking the lowered expectations into consideration, I'm still gonna give this a D plus, like D as in dog. It's just, it's really not a great set, even for a classic one. Uh, and I, I was really basically disappointed with almost almost every aspect of it. Uh, but uh, hopefully you can leave me a comment and tell me if you agree or disagree or why you agree or why you disagree. So uh, hopefully this has been a good three or four minutes of your life watching this video. Hopefully, uh, like I said, you leave me a comment and I hear from you again soon. Hopefully you hit the like button. Hopefully you hit the subscribe button and then hear from me again soon. And as always, thanks for watching.